Hi guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see how to perform frequency encoding and binary encoding. First, we are going to see about frequency encoding. What it does is it will uh, calculate the number of occurrence of a particular category in the whole data set. So now let's dive into that. So the data we have is loan prediction data set and I have reduced it to only three columns. So these are only uh, the categorical columns. First, I'm going to go with this uh, education. So we will just see how many uh, uh, number of values in the whole data set. It will be in the range of uh, 0 to uh, 1. That is the that is in terms of like a percentage. Now let's do it first group by frequency. So for this, uh, we are going to use group by method. So I will call it as frequency frequency equals df of group by of the column I'm gonna use education dot size divided by len of df so before that uh, we have to know what's uh, happening in the group by so I'll just uh, have it here so this is the group by method so the total number of uh, graduates we have is like 480 and the total number of uh, not graduates is have uh, 134. So what I'm doing is I'm just dividing it by the total length of the data set. So this will uh, give us some kind of a percentage distribution. So we are going to do that here and after that we are going to map the values. Map the values. So in mapping the values I will have like df.lock I will just do it for all the rows and uh, we have to create a new column for this. So I'll just do like this a brackets frequency dot format format inside it. I will use call. So before that, I'll just initialize the column variable. So if you want to use it for any variables means it will be uh, much easier if you do like this. So here also I'll just use call, call and equals df of call dot map of frequency. So this will just add a new column uh, with the mapping frequency. And finally, we will just display the data. So now you can uh, clearly see the, the total number of uh, graduates in terms of percentage is around uh, 78% and not graduates is the remaining 21.8%. Uh, so the total, if you add uh, both of these frequency means it will equal to one. So that is the total number of samples. So this is how you can uh, do frequency encoding for a particular uh, column. So this will be uh, much more uh, easier. And after that, we will go for uh, binary encoding. I'm gonna use this remaining two columns. So binary encoding. So binary encoding is also similar to one hot encoding, but it will uh, go in terms like a binary value. So in one hot encoding in any one of the column, if the value is present means we will be having one apart from that uh, remaining columns will be zero. But here in binary encoding, it will follow a binary format. Let's say if you have uh, four values means. So it will go like this zero, zero. That will represent uh, one value, zero, one. That will represent another value, one, zero, and uh, one, one. So this is how the binary encoding happening. So I'll just quickly uh, import the necessary model to do the operation. So for this, we are going to import a binary encoder. So from category encoders, import binary encoder. I will just initialize the encoder as B equals binary encoder. So here I'll just use B dot fit transform, fit transform of uh, the column. So I'm going to go for uh, dependence. So df of dependence. Now you can uh, see the values. It's showing all the values, 
maybe i'll just uh, store it in some kind of a uh, variable so currently it's having uh, 0 0 okay maybe i'll just ca concatenate with the data frame so we can able to easily uh, observe how it is uh, working so i will call it as encoded values or encoded b encoder equals fit transform it will have the data frame so after that we will just concatenate so i will call it as encoded df equals pd dot concat of data frame and encoded data frame axis equals one now i'll just shuffle the data okay this is b encode for shuffling i'll just use sample fraction equals one and dot head 10 run this okay now we have all the values now here you can see uh, for zero it's having zero zero one and uh, for one it's having a one zero for two it's one one and for three plus it's having a one double zero it's like uh, starting from uh, first integer and uh, going up to like four so the dependence we have like four categories so in dependence we have four categories so according to that it just uh, use the binary encoder in order to represent the values so if you have only uh, two categories means it will be uh, much more simple so i'll just consider this uh, self-employed in order to get this so instead of this i'll just use self-employed run this run this now you can see the number of columns are uh, reduced so in the self-employed uh, currently it's having null values that's why it's having like another uh, uh, one value also if we fill the null values maybe let's just fill the null values fill null values just fill the null values quickly so df of self-employed equals fill na i'll just fill it with uh, no just for now okay now we don't have the null values we have only two categories so for the first category we will we are having like uh, 0 1 and for the second category that is yes we'll have 1 0 so that's how the binary encoder works if you have more number of categories means it will just uh, keep on increasing the binary values so that's how it works it also equals to one hot encoding but this one is more preferable if you have more number of categories because if you have more number of categories means one hot encoding will be keep on uh, increasing the number of columns but this binary encoding will be uh, compact and uh, more meaningful so that is the advantage of uh, binary encoding and uh, that's pretty much it guys we have covered uh, most of the important encoding techniques in the past few videos and uh, that's it guys if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for uh, more videos like this stay tuned for the next video